This week, the stars of Santa Barbara and General Hospital are here to battle it out for you at home. Today, the team from General Hospital will play for a possible bonus of $10,000. It's the Battle of the Soaps on Scrabble. A six-letter word. The clue is, you can go anywhere when you have these. It's the crossword game you've played all your life, but never quite like this. And here's your host, Chuck Rory. All righty, thank you, Charlie Tuna. Thanks, everybody, and welcome to the Battle of the Soaps here on Scrabble. Home viewer word was sent in by Julie Dudley. She's from Aurora, Nebraska. We got a T-shirt for you, Julie. This week, uh, some of your favorite stars from Santa Barbara and General, General Hospital are here with us. They're going to be playing for you folks out there at home in our home audience. And Charlie's going to introduce our first two stars. Charlie, she's a witch. He's rich. Playing Lucy Coe, Lynn Herring. And playing Dr. Alan Quartermain, Stuart Damon. All right, nice to have you both here. How are you, Lynn? Great, thank you. You were very sweet. I was talking to you before we went on the show. You're a witch? I'm a witch. You got a, didn't you get an award for being the most villainous? I'm afraid so, yeah, for this year. The most, I can't say the word on TV for this year. Pretty bad stuff, this lady. You can't say the word this year? Well, it rhymes with witch. But I can't. <laughs> Does it have something to do with a female dog? That is it. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a legitimate term. Why can't you say that on television? But you say it first, and then I'll say it. <laughs> I don't talk like that. Okay. <laughs> oh, well, congratulations Thank on that you. anyway. I was welcome very to the excited. show. Thanks. Yeah, hope you do well today. I do too. Yeah. Hi, Stuart. Hi, Chuck. How you doing? Uh, you, you know, normally soap opera characters get killed off within a couple of years. Anyhow, you've run. How long has your character run? Coming up for twelve years. Years. Gee, you're very likable, obviously. I like your character. Well, I run fast, one or the you other. run fast and dodge bullets and things. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's nice to have you here as well. Thank Good you very luck much. To you today. We ask our viewers, by the way, to send in postcards. Names were drawn at random. Each of you has an envelope in front of you containing those names. Now, whatever you win is going to go to that person at home and... Uh, Start right now with who won the toss. I think I won the toss. Oh, good. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the board. We're going to play Scrabble until somebody gets three words uh, right. That player then goes on to our Scrabble sprint. They have a chance that jackpot worth $10,000. Take a look at the board as we set up for the first game. We're building on the letter E, seven letters in the word. And the clue is some women do it with their big cans. I now, beg your pardon? I know. I'll, I'll tell you again because we have to do that. Uh, when you think you know the word, hit your buzzer. Don't forget the pink and blue bonus squares because they're worth money. Some women do it with their big cans. Oh, boy. I'll take the five and the seven. Who wrote this? <laughs> Did Jan write this? It sounds like something he would write, you dirty guy. <laughs> tea or not? I'm going to try the tea. No? Oh, it's a really? stopper. Okay. It's uh, over to you, Stuart. Okay. I will take the six. C or an I? I will take the C. Some women do it with their big cans. Recycle. Boy, very, very well. Good. Gee, that's terrific. Very nice. Well, when they come to you, they really come to you. <laughs> Building on the letter E in recycle, uh, Lynn, there are seven letters in the word. The clue is in New York, they do their business at the curb. They do their business at the curb. <laughs> Four and the two. Z or an R? I'll try the R. It's worth five hundred dollars. In New York, they do their business at the curb. A little early yet, but you might oh, want to try. Oh shoot! I'm gonna have to try another one. No, you can't take another oh. tile. You have to use the Z. Before oh, I gotta you use on. it. Okay, yeah. I'll try the Z. I know you don't want to, and you're right because it's a problem. So, okay, I will take the three and the five. S or a W? Um, the W. Second stopper, it's back to you, Lynn. Only one stopper left in New York. They do their business at the curb is the clue. So you can take a okay. tile. And... I'll try the nine. S or an O? Oh, I'll try the S. That's plural, so no problem there. Right, and um, I got to play the O. In New York, they do their business at the curb. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to try six and an eight. Not much information up there yet. A D or an N? I'll try the N. In New York, they do their business at the curb. <laughs> Lace the D, please. Right in the middle. Can't give you the first oh. letter, though. Vendors. Vendors, that's right. Okay, that's a G. Stuart. <laughs> Building on the letter O in 
and vendors, there are eight letters in this next word. The clue is guys come around after it. Guys come around after it. Guys Stuart. come around after yes, it. Yes, sir. I'll take the four and the eight. Possible thousand up there with a T or a C. Uh, T. Last position in the word. Guys come around after it. C. Guys come around after it. Uh, I have to go on. I'll take the five and the one. K or an N? Um, I'll take the K. Guys come around after it. And I'll take the N. I gotta go on. I'll take the six and the ten. O and a K. I'll take the O. Thousand dollars. Guys come around after it. Knock out. You got it. Very, very nicely done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one thousand dollars. Thank you. All right, some lucky person out there. It's two to one. Uh, Stuart Damon has uh, two, so he's going for the game. And uh, Lynn has one. She's going to try to tie it up. That bell means that we're out of time. Going to play the rest in speed word. Hands on your buzzers. Don't answer till I say go. We'll put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give the last letter. It's up to you. Good luck to both of you. Building on the letter O and knockout, there are six letters in the word, and the clue is the great melting pot. Ready? Go. The great melting pot. The great melting pot. Lynn. Fondue. That's it. It's all tied up. <laughs> Building on the letter E in fondue, there are seven letters in the word. The clue is, he sometimes gets people down. He sometimes gets people down. Ready? Go. He sometimes gets people down. Stuart. Fireman. That's it. One, two, three. Well, that was well played on both sides. It really was. Very nicely done. Let's take a look and see who you're, gonna, who you're playing for, Lynn. Right. And we'll find out what we run for. Him. Norma Jean Page, North Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. All right. So, uh, Norma Jean, got new time in there. Unfortunately, there's no money involved in this one. But we do have an AM FM cassette for you, and Charlie's going to tell you about that. Charlie? Lynn, for Norma Jean at home, you've got an Emerson portable AM FM dual cassette deck. Features high speed dubbing and four speakers for the best in stereo sound. A fine product furnished by Emerson. Thank you, Charlie. I'm sure she'll enjoy that. Thank you, Lynn, for playing. We'll see you a bit later on. And uh, Stewart, $1,000. And add five to that for the game. That makes 15, doesn't it? And sure that could does. be double. We'll find out who you're going to be playing for a little bit later on. Very nicely done. Thanks, Stuart. Thank you. Thank you. We'll be back. Good job. Both of you. Thank you. You guys are playing like regular Back to the Battle of the Soaps in Chuck Lorre. Thank you, Charlie. Uh, Stuart Damon has 1,500 for his person. We're gonna let's take a look and see who you're playing for, oh, so yeah. we don't keep uh, okay. saying this person. Uh, we're playing for James D. Hecker of Bismarck, Illinois. All right, new times down on his. So, uh, James, you have three thousand dollars now. That's a lot of money. Uh, winner, uh, this crossword is gonna uh, try to, or pardon me, you're gonna. <laughs> I forgot what Time's I was up. doing. <laughs> oh, well, anyway. You're going to establish a time. The winner of the next crossword is going to come here and try to beat that time. Remind you to hit your plunger because that's what stops the clock. No stoppers in any of these words. All the letters are good. Okay. Are you nervous? Yes. Well, that's okay. Ah, okay. I am too. I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> First word, five letters. Yeah. The land down under. Land down under. Ready? Yep. Go. D. E. The land down under. Um, H. Um, A. The land down under. Hades. Yes, that was tough. Not an easy one, I don't think. I agree. Second word, six letters. Second word, six letters. A famous redhead. <laughs> A famous redhead. Ready? Yes. Go. S. N. A famous redhead. Um, T. Um. Quickly. Uh, L. A famous redhead. Um, A. A famous redhead. Stalin. Yeah. yeah. I can't play this game. Well, yeah, you can. I'll tell you I'm what. I'm going home. Can I give you a hint? 
Yes, certainly. Yeah. Go Just home. Just keep calling the letters. Oh, yeah. Don't don't I, even try to figure it I out can't in between. I see them from the bottom well, to the top. It's is really, my brain? It's, no, it's, it's really tough. Math. You got to concentrate on three things at once. You know they're putting me in a home after I finish this. Well, I haven't been that well anyway. I saw I, I saw the wheelchair, but I think they're going to hold it. Okay. No, it's my brain, not my body. Hold on. Yeah. Okay, fine. Let's go. Third worst. <laughs> uh, speaking of brain, mixed fruit. Mi <laughs> <laughs> Pull yourself together. We are having enough trouble. Mixed fruit. fruit. Okay, ready? ready. Go. Go. N. Um. E. Mixed fruit. L. Um. G. Mixed fruit. Um. Tangelo. How in the world did you get that? I think How that was I really know? hard. That was so difficult. I have an obtuse mind. Oh. Last Isn't word. It's over yet? Almost. Eight, eight letters. Eight letters. A clean air act. A, a clean air act? Yes. Okay. Ready? A clean air act. Okay. Go. Okay. G. Um, L. Quickly. A clean um, air act. Uh, G. Um, R. Um, N. A clean air act. G. Gurgling. Gargling. <laughs> Sorry, I beat you. Yeah, I... I... <laughs> It's a 10-second penalty, but but we can accept it because you said gurgling first. So it's a 10-second yes. penalty, yes. but we accept, we don't have to go on because you said it right. You, yes. you corrected yourself. You understand? Oh, I understand. Yeah. And, you know, um, by the way, don't worry. You, it's only 61. I think 71's the record. So you're still under that. Yes, and we'll I be know. back. <laughs> I, that wasn't bad. I tell, you what, I tell you what, next time you do it, and you will do it again because you play the front side so well. You, I you have to, you have to you're watching Scrabble on USA Network. Okay, we're back. Charlie has to start. Charlie? She's a schmoozer. He's a user. Playing Tiffany Hill, Sharon Wyatt. And playing Scotty Baldwin, Ken Schreiner. Uh, thank you both for coming to be with us. We appreciate it very much. Thank you, Charlie. Sharon, you, uh, it, you, know, you own a TV station. Is, Absolutely. Is it anything like the real thing? or? Oh, of course. You know, the owner of a TV station always goes out and does the news and all the shows. And everything. <laughs> well, <laughs> if it's a small TV station, I suppose that's It true. is. Well, you know, I was an international jet-setting model. Actress, B actress. My greatest film was Godzilla's Girlfriend. So, gotcha. therefore, I've got to stay in front of the camera. So, I bought the station and I get to do all the... How pleasant and yeah. nice and convenient. Yes, absolutely. Nice to have you. Good luck <laughs> to you today. Thank you, Chuck. Ken, I've watched you for, what, 11 years? Yeah, off and on. Long time. I keep go leaving and coming back and like an old penny or something. Making better deals each time, hopefully. Better, yeah, better and, and just getting meaner and, and <laughs> using more people. <laughs> using, a user and a schmoozer. Using well, a schmoozer. Well, well, who won the toss back today? Uh, I did, of course. Let's get to that. We're going to go to the board and play this game and see how good you are. Ooh. Okay, here we go, Sharon. Building on the letter E, eight letters in the word. The clue is it's been held over Dan Quayle's head. It's been held over Dan Quayle's head. It's held over Dan Quayle's head. Okie dokie. I'll take a number seven, and I will take a four. It's been held over Dan Quayle's an head. Uh, I'll take a B. Ooh, I'll take an A. It's been held over Dan Quayle's head. Uh, I'm going to go for some money. I'm going to take a three. Ooh. And I'll take a nine. V or an L? Oh, I'll take a big L. <laughs> I think she does know it. Umbrella. That's it. Yes. Good. You may be in trouble, Ken. I don't know. Do you know that one? No, I was lost. Okay, building a lost. letter R lost. and umbrella, Ken. Seven letters in the word. The clue is some husbands have walked out on them after an argument. Some husbands have walked out on them after an argument. Okay, I'll take a, um, a two and a six. Some husbands. O or a P? Uh, P. First position in the word, some husbands have walked out of them after an argument. Walked out on them. Uh, oh. Five hundred dollars. Some husbands have walked out on them after an argument. You got me. Okay. I'll have to take a uh, four and a nine. Sharon's doing a lot of nail Sharon doesn't know I think this. she knows she it. She doesn't know it. B or an H. I'll take an H. Some husbands have walked out on them after an argument. Uh, she, I'll take a B. Stop it. Back to Sharon. Ay, ay, ay. I'll take a seven. I'll take a three. E or a C? I'll take the C. She loves it. Some husbands have walked out on them after an argument. Give you $500. Uh, 
<laughs> Porches. Hit it. Porches. You got it. That's five hundred. <laughs> very funny. You waited and looked. <laughs> See, you're on ABC, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. Well, well you look kind of like the RCA dogs. You went, what? Four, two, good. One, two, three, four, five. There you go. Okie doke. Bell means we're out of time. Going to play the rest in speed word. Uh, -oh. uh Well, listen, the last person caught up. I think Frank caught up yes, when he was did. two down. So hands on your buzzers. We're going to put the letters in place one at a time. Can't give you the last letter. It's up to you. Ken, you're trying to get back in it. And Sharon's going for the game. We're building on the letter S in porches. Eight letters in the word, and the clue is he really knew how to score. Ready? How does he knew how to he knew how to score? He really okay. knew how to score. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Go. <laughs> he Say really it. knew how to score. He really knew how to score. Gosh. Sharon? Gershwin. You got it. That said one, two, three. Give a thousand bucks. One thousand. Well, listen, I mean, she's just fast and good. What can I say? She begged me to let her win one. Well, you did. I did. I begged you. I said, please, let me just win one game. Well, you did very well. She did it handily, I'll tell you read this? Yeah, let's find out who you're playing for. Ida Mae Morton, Marysville, Tennessee. Marysville, Tennessee. I know. Well, Kentucky, Tennessee. Tennessee is close enough. I came here from Tennessee. Right. AMFM cassette for her, and we're, of course, we're going to see you back here later. Thanks. Okay, okay, okay. You played well. Just stay right there. And uh, Sharon, we're going to be back with her for sure. She's got another thousand coming. As I count it out, we'll go to commercial and come back and have more time. Be fun. Money, honey. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. playing for James D. Hecker, by the way. The time he established is 61 seconds. He already has $3,000, James does. And Sharon White is playing for who? Let's find out who you're playing for. A. Lewis Heisley of Elizabethtown, Pennsylvania. Right. And it's a new time. That's right. So that's double. So you're up to 4000 for your player. And uh, she's going to be playing this for $2,000. Of course, both of them are. Let's see what happens. Same four words. Remind you to hit your plunger. That's what stops the clock. And okay. no stoppers in any of these words. All the letters. Time to beat is 61 seconds. All right. Good luck. Thank you. First word, five letters. The land down under. The land down under. Ready? Okay. Go. D. S. H. The land down under. Uh, a. <laughs> Haiti. Uh, correct, but did you get it on the buzzer, or how are you going to do That's that? That's the way you spell Hades? Yes, on. That's the way you spell Hades, yeah. <laughs> like it like hell? Yeah, yeah, yeah it's like hell. You see, I've never seen that. Yeah, well, I've never seen that word before in yeah. my life. Well, that's it. Okay, you got it. Uh, next word, six letters. A famous redhead. A famous redhead. Ready? Ready. Go. S. A. T. A famous redhead. A N. Uh, L. Stalin? Yep, Stalin. You know, he's red. He's oh. communist. Had a redhead. This is a strange show. You know, we come at you from every direction okay, you can think of. Okay, okay. Then we blindside you. Third okay. word, seven letters. Mixed fruit. Mixed fruit. Ready? Ready. Go. N. T. E. Mixed fruit. A. L. O. Tangelo. That's right. Where do these words come from? I think these are probably among the four toughest we've ever had. I can't believe these words. You have 33.7 seconds for this last word. All right. Good luck. Thanks, Chuck. <laughs> eight, 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 uh, eight letters. A clean air act. A clean air act. Ready? Okay, ready. Go. G. L. G. A clean air act. G. A. Uh, N. Uh, R. Gargling. That's right. 19.3 seconds left. It's an easy chance. You know, it's interesting. I can see. I know exactly what happened now. You could have literally played those all the way through, selected the letters a little bit quicker, and you probably would have been ahead at this point. Yeah, but with that one mistake, unfortunately. But anyway, three thousand dollars to James Hecker. Can't be too upset about that. Sharon's going to come back and play for uh, Lewis Heisley, A. Lewis Heisley, anyway. And uh, six thousand going to go for ten right after this. We'll be back. Yeah, that was interesting the way that worked out because if you noticed, did you see the rhythm in which he was asking for? Yeah. He was
And now, back to Chuck Woolery and today's winner, Sharon Wyatt from General Hospital is playing for A. Lewis Heisley. Thank you. Uh, Heis it's Heisey? Heisey. Okay. $6,000. This is two words under 10 seconds. You're playing so well. You really are. Thank you, Chuck. Good luck. Thanks. First word, six letters. They're full of bull. They're full of bull. They're full of bull. Ready? All right, ready. Watch me. They're full of bull. They're full of bull. Ready? B-U-L-L. Bull, B-U-L-L. -L. -B -L -L. They're yes. full of bull. Ready? All ready. Go. Z. R. They're full of bull. Uh, o. Uh, O. They're full of bull. Rodent? Oh. No, rodeo! No! Oh. What is it? Oh, I thought you had, you did, you had rodeo. a rodeo, but you said rodents first and they have to take the first. Oh. Yeah, they're full so, of bulls. I know, rodeos. It's a thing to say. It's rodeo. What, they're full of bulls? It's rodeos. I know, they have bulls. They have bulls in them, you know? Oh, well. I'm sorry, A. Lewis. Hey, listen, A. Lewis, you got $6,000. That's not too shabby. You don't have to be sorry about that. Plus, this is not easy. I have to say, if this was going to be that easy, everybody would win. Anyway, you should have All right, we're going to, that's all the time we have for today. See you tomorrow. We'll be back with General Hospital and everybody from, uh, oh, yeah, thank you, from Santa Barbara. I started to say something else. Huh? Yeah, she'll be back Friday. That's right. See you then. Bye bye, everybody. Come on down. Let's... Tonight, who will qualify to wear the crown as the king of the ring? It's a battle of the brother-in-laws as Owen Hart meets the British Bulldog one-on-one -on -one tonight on Raw. Now, stay tuned for awesome action with a dude who can turn a taco into a torpedo. MacGyver, next on USA. Scrabble is a Red's Grundy production.